try guy already. Oh, I do too. Like Hello and good morning everyone. Guys, good morning. It is pretty early actually for like a summer morning. School morning, it wouldn't be that early. Today is a big day though because we're waking up early for a reason, not just because we want to be up early and enjoy I mean, I like being up early. It's gonna be a great week. It's July, the birthday month. No, July's in full swing. If you didn't see yesterday's week. video, it was probably the greatest kickoff to a birthday month ever. Brandon had a pretty great birthday. Today we are taking Ryler. He's moving out for the week. Ryler has his bags packed just over there. We are all up as a full family. We are literally moving Ryler out of the home and into college. Now he's going to a different college. Went to college last year. You didn't see that. At BYU. This year he is going to USU. Is that how you say it? In Logan, Utah. That is not down the road. That is a two hour jaunt up north. I know. And so we we're loading the entire family into the car. And we're going to get all of his stuff and take him up there. He has got, I'm just kind of looking at it laughing. He's got groceries. He's got pillows, blankets. The packing blankets. list did say snacks. He took that to heart. The level of snacks that he brought might not be what they were looking for, but this is only half of it. He went shopping with Micah the other day. Micah's got the other half. Micah has Oh my half. gosh. And then his suitcase I know is full of of a lot of important clothes, different attire, Projectors. and electronics. He has an actual projector in there to project video games and shows. Not familiar with what's going down. I think last year we compared it to like a church camp kind of a thing. You're not really camping, you're staying in the dorms of college. And so you have things that are going on that are structured during the day, the mornings, the afternoons. Once the night hits, kind of on your own, kind of free to do whatever. So Ryler's got some fun stuff there to entertain them in their dorm room. And he's been looking up the dorm room layout, trying to plan out how much fun they're gonna have, where they're gonna sleep, all the things they're gonna do. So that's all happening today. We're going to be getting in the car a two hour drive Drive up north dropping him off and we will not see him again until this next weekend. So he is but gone. The good news is he has cell phone reception. I can reach Guys, him. I can check on very him. Very different situation from when he had to fend for himself, fight and survive the wild, fishing for what he ate, living off of the land, and only a satellite phone that nobody ever used to call us to let us know that he was still alive. So you can just text him. You can send us pictures of all the fun that he he's having. Answer. He's very much within technology's reach. But he will be gone for the 4th of July. That's kind of crazy. Never had that happen yes, before. he thought it would be super fun to be with Micah on the 4th of July. He chose a location that was a little further away and being gone over the 4th, but we're not gonna have any fun while he's gone. We're gonna miss Rye Guy a ton. Since we are going up with the Ravellis, I don't know if we've mentioned that, he's gonna be spending the week with Micah, so we're gonna go up and drop them off together. And then we're gonna make kind of a fun afternoon of it, have some lunch, drop them off, say goodbye. But I think it will help keep the tears at bay. I don't know that I'm gonna cry in front of the Ravellis as I send Rye Guy off. better at it, maybe? Yeah, plus that's like, this is the second time in two weeks that we're saying goodbye for a week to Ryler, so it's just kind of like, eh, get out of here. No. <laughs> gassing up before we hit the road. Now this is like we said, a two hour drive there and back. So that is each way. So that is four hours of driving. It's a pretty substantial road trip we're going on today. And we also have the 4th of July coming up tomorrow with a lot of things to do and get ready for. We wanna get the yard in tip top shape, clean up all the fun stuff outside. We've got some fun patriotic pool floaties that are gonna be arriving. And today we're gonna do our best to get Rye Guy out there, drop him off, get back home and get everything ready for our epic 4th of July party going down full TIHWB style tomorrow. Step one though, getting some gas in the tank, filling up Big Bertha. Do we go with Big Bertha? I know, I what do we go with you? Yeah. Black Beauty is what comes to mind. I do like that a lot. Black but Stallion. I, don't like color. I feel like she needs a name like Mindy. Wait, Wanda. why are we so dumb? Black Stallion is pretty awesome, and Fords are the Stallions, the Mustangs. Like that's what they are. Mustang Sally. It's not a Mustang though. I'm really <laughs> off here. Anyways, let's get some gas in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with some gas in the Mustang. <laughs> We are gassed up. We are ready to rock. And I got gas. We hit Taco Bell. Just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> we got, so no, gassed. we did not. But we are going to get lunch when we get there. We decided we're going to go there, get right guy checked in. So is he going to move his stuff in first? Or we do lunch uh, and then drop I off his stuff. I think he should. Get his stuff moved into yeah, his place so he's so. set. Yeah. So we'll go have a nice lunch. Now, Rye guy has had one request that we eat quickly so we can get off and have some fun. Yeah. We will be quick. Rye guy, are you ready to go, dude? Do you feel I, prepared? I am so ready. I feel like I have everything. I feel like I also brought a lot of extra fun stuff. <laughs> yes, you did. But I just can't wait to get there. So we were talking about this is going to be a little bit of a different experience. Last time you went to BYU, and what's cool is that this is the same like event. It's called yeah. FSY, but it's going to feel all new because it's a completely new campus, new city. I don't think yeah. you've ever done anything in Logan before. Yeah. That's gonna be a whole new vibe. He's never done it with a friend. Last time he didn't know a single person there. And so this time he's going with a friend. That's gonna be different. I'm, I'm very excited for you, dude. Last time you came home with so many fun stories and you had had such a great time. I think it's only gonna be better this time. You just have the hundred mile drive left to go. Uh, Actually, 99. 99. Okay, 99 miles left to go. 99 oh. miles left. Take one down. Hazy's a clown. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 
something that we have never experienced in a road trip before. First of all, loving the car. AC working pretty good so far. Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> Mom loves being in this car. We all love being in the car. We've loved the new Expedition. Something that we've never experienced before is it has its own Wi-Fi. We've always thought that Which was so cool. cool. I think it's probably been common in cars for a few years, but we haven't had a new car in a while. So the kids all connected to Wi-Fi right now, doing their different things, watching videos, playing games. Kind of fun. I know it's a little nubbish, as we call it, but they're able to play like online competitive multiplayer games in the car using the car's moving hotspot. As we drive, we are a driving mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. That's just kind of fun. It's kind of cool. So it comes with like very small amount that you can use every month for the first three months, then it just like goes away. But we decided to pay a little bit extra. Well, to get have... nerdy, I think it's two gigabytes that it gets, I think right? It's three gigs. Three. Guys, per month for the If you've never month. monitored that or seen how quickly that goes, it was gone in like 36 hours. If you watch like one movie, you've used up two of the gigabytes. Yeah. So yeah, that goes quick. But the price for like unlimited is like just slightly more. So you go unlimited. We went unlimited for the whole year. I think it's gonna be the greatest thing ever. It's awesome. It's fantastic, especially like on a road trip. The kids all have something fun that they can connect to and do. Another thing that I absolutely love that this car does is it has what's called blue cruise. It's like obviously cruise control, but it can track a car in front of you. So it keeps you at like safe distance from the car in front of you. And if you can actually up, set it, right? Like the number yes. of car lengths that you want to be from the car in front of you. I actually can drive with no hands too. It keeps you in your lane as well. It's self-driving. That makes me kind of scared though. I'm but a little bit of a control freak. Self-driving with a caveat. You have to have eye contact with yes, the so road. There's a sensor right here. It looks for my eyes to be looking on the road the entire time. Even if I'm wearing sunglasses. If she looks at me, it will take off that cruise control it and it will say you need to put your hands back on the wheel. Pay attention. So blue cruise, blue cruise is on. on. Watch the road and be prepared. There's a car next to me though. It says hands free. Hands free. There you go. So right now, you're not driving at all. This is fully hands free. Yeah, my feet aren't on and my hands aren't on. And it like literally. Look at the steering wheel is moving right now. It's but I keeping have to you. keep my eyes Wait, forward. is your foot on the gas? No. You're literally doing nothing. You are sitting here as a passenger just being driven right now. Yes. Rondi. Rondi. Take me to Utah State University. That's what we should call this. Wait, Rondi control. What can I call, call it? That's a girl. Rhonda. Rhonda. We can call the car Rhonda. Rhonda. Did we just name the car? I think Rhonda's a phenomenal Sorry, name for I this car. Sorry, I can't look over there. Yeah, don't look over here at all, but you are still. I mean, guys. It's Rhonda. Oh my gosh, that's what my license plate needs to be. That is hilarious. Look at this. No foot on the gas, which is just, you know, cruise control in general, but everything is taken care of. Steering wheel will keep, look at that, moving So right now, my cruise control is set to 84, but because there's a car in front of me, it has slowed my car to 76. 76, but you did not put on the brake. It just knows that that car is too close, so it's slowing you down. I love watching the steering wheel. It's trippy. It's like a ghost is in charge. It's kind of trippy. There's times where it will say place your hands on the steering wheel. You're not driving, you just have to have your hands on the steering wheel. And I don't really like that because it's awkward to just You don't like, want to be half involved. Like Either all the way involved or you take over. Rhonda, Rhonda take the wheel. Rhonda take the wheel. <laughs> We have arrived here on campus, Utah State yep. University. FSY going down, right guy gonna get yeah. checked in right now. Well, I think we're a little bit early. There's mm -hmm. a line forming. I think right guy may actually be the first person through if we go yeah. get out there and get in line right Hopefully. now. We're gonna get your room, dorm, where you're gonna end my up staying. My room, my key, my lanyard, T-shirt, backpack, shirt bag. you've kinda done this before. You did Book. it at BYU last time. Yeah. You know what you're doing, you know yeah. what you're up to, but you've never done it with a friend, so that's kinda fun. No, and I'm really excited. And we've never done it here at USU at this yeah. campus. Yeah, so this is cool. I've never it's been fun here. driving up here. Already here. feels a little more laid back here. It's not quite as chaotic. BYU scene was out of control. There was thousands of people everywhere. Oh, this one, we're dealing with dozens to hundreds, not a huge mm -hmm. deal, but well, let's go get you checked in, we'll get your gear, and go we'll find out where you're gonna be staying. Okay, let's go. He is officially checked in, has his lanyard, his pass, his t-shirt, his bag, got all of his gear, we've unloaded the car, and we are now trying to locate his snacks. dormitory where he will be staying. We just hope that they have a sufficient refrigerator and pantry space for all the snacks that he brought. I want to see what it looks like. I'm Whoa, what in. the heck? I didn't bring my mini Whoa. Box, so we're good. Is that a giant what? blinds? What is this? It's like an apartment. Bro. Dude, dude, you, you guys. This is so sick. This is gonna be so fun. Oh my god. Every one of your younger siblings is so jealous right now. You guys get to choose which room you want. You got the first ones in. You got a kitchen, refrigerator. 
This is so dang fun. Oh my god. Getting Rag Guy moved in. Check it out, bro. That's his bed right there. He's it's gonna so be stationed cool. for the next week. Now, one thing that's cool about this is last time we weren't able to help move him in. Yeah. One parent could go in only, no kids. So, mom went in, moved him in. She just came out and told me how it was. Yeah. So, it's kind of cool. We all get to come in here, set his stuff up, set his food, snacks out. And, dude, he was flipping out. He so found excited. the sickest projector spot. I know that's not what this week is yes, about, but he brought so this projector. Nice. <laughs> he wants to watch shows with Mike at night and check yeah. this out. There's a shelf right here you can put the projector on and you could fill up that entire wall and basically Whole have thing. a little in home dorm. Yeah. Movie theater here. It's perfect. It's gonna be so amazing. So I am so excited for you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Adam and Stephanie are taking us to the student center to get some lunch. We just got a little tour of this place because they nice. came Utah up here and lived up here for a long time and went to school. So Adam is showing us the ways. Thank you, my good sir. Yes, I'm a tour guide. Oh, look at this, right this way? This is it, the official moment. We are I'm saying leaving. goodbye. Picking Ragai into college. He's got his dorm. Don't leave me. Have you got your books, son? Yes, have you got, got your backpack? Have you got, got your all shoes tied tight? Okay. Yep. I hope you don't get in a fight. Bro, have a ton of fun. We're gonna miss you. Have fun. Full I'm week. Excited. Mom's actually gonna come up, pick him up, spend the night here in Logan yeah. because I gotta pick him up at like five in the Real morning. Early. So she's gonna be over here at the end of this week and the weekend. Yeah, so she'll trip. see you sooner than we will. But bro, we love you. Have a ton see of fun. Later. Make some memories. Awesome. Make the most I'm so of excited. I will. You're gonna have a blast, dude. We're gonna miss you, but we're getting better at this. We're getting better at our goodbyes. We love you, dude. Love you. Oh, I do too. <laughs> Guys, we are back home. Rylerless. There is one less family member in the home right now. Weird. He has been dropped off successfully. I think he is going to have so much fun, make so many memories. He's gonna have so much fun. Can't wait to hear the stories. And it is nice. He's already texted us. He's already talked to us. Not quite the same as last time he yeah. took off for a week. But you guys, we have so much to do and get ready for. Yes. I want to get the lawn in tip-top shape, but it's currently 102 degrees. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go mow it now. Oh, Risky hydration. Or what do you call that? Heat stroke? I'm gonna wait for a little bit until I get a cooler moment, maybe later this evening. But mom is also going to get all of the fun snacks, food, groceries. Yes, I have to head off to Costco. We're gonna be doing a big barbecue with the entire Bingham family. They're all coming over tomorrow to swim, so. enjoy some fun in the sun, some patriotic fun. We've got a bunch of cool red, white, and blue stuff coming. As you guys have seen, we've got the amazing American flag hanging out there on the back deck. We have a lot to do to get ready for that. We wanna make sure you guys come back and join us for that party. It's gonna be off the hook. It's gonna be awesome. We love you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. 99 miles left to go. 99 miles left. Take one down. Age is a clown. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>